ultimate goal would be is you to get off of it and say, holy moly, is that, uh, did somebody just do that thing in steel or something? <laughs> That's suckers, is that wood? On the road again. <laughs> hey, all you quirky subscribers out there. What is going on? And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Quirky, quirky Coaster, Coaster Couple. Couple. Well, as you can tell, we're back in the Quirky Mobile and we are headed to Seguin, Texas. That is Seguin, Texas. That is Seguin. The reason why she said Seguin is because we're headed to CDT's, our favorite family owned amusement park. But, and, but wait, it's closed. Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> We've been invited by Danny Donhauser to uh, get an exclusive interview on the progress of the maintenance that's been getting done to Switchback, the world's only wooden shuttle coaster. Yay! And you're coming with us. <laughs> so come along for the ride and make sure if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. Don't miss any more quirky moments. Let's go. Let's go. switchback and uh, the maintenance that's um, that, that's going on right now so uh, give us a little bit of a uh, history as far as uh, how old switchback is and all right yeah switchback opened up in late 2015 uh, so we're going on uh, we're almost six years now right coasters uh, they're uh, not free of maintenance by any means and so that wood is a special wood uh, but even being as special it is and all that treatment they got into it it still goes bad especially in certain areas like valleys and uh, where you're getting a lot of force on the train and where a lot of the water may set uh, it's going to soften the wood up it's going to get you know plowed by all that weight of that train and that's typically where you uh, you're going to be doing your first replacement of wood and th which was typical here uh, is what we did is start replacing some of the valleys so, uh, on it. so typically uh, the wood that, that the uh, gravity group used is is pine yellow pine. yeah ye yellow pine uh, heavily treated and I always forget the actual name <laughs> in it uh, some arsenic stuff but the okay. label on it, I thought I had one around here, but the label on it says for highway use only. Oh, wow. <laughs> wait, wait, no. highway in, in the Amish country? I mean, what? I don't know, but they have every, every piece of wood has highway use only. So not your local Yoko can go to the lumber store and buy this wood. Hmm. I couldn't go to, and order it from Home Depot or order it from a local lumber yard. It needs to be bought, I would assume, I, I don't know, uh, through the coaster, you know, company, somebody that's got, uh, you know, yeah. they have their reasoning that they're allowed to, uh, to be using it. So okay. special, special stuff. So then, uh, take us through uh, what, what this right here is. Yeah, yeah. So we got a little piece of uh, Brazilian hardwood or IPE. Uh, IPE is uh, pronounced Ipe. Uh, this is a very, very hard wood. It's supposed to last. Uh, uh, they don't know exactly how long. I haven't heard any uh, definite how long it's going to last on the coaster, but we're we're hoping for 10, 15. Uh, I'm hoping for a lot longer. Some people say 10, 15 years. I'm I'm thinking past my lifetime. Somebody <laughs> else's problem afterwards. So I'm hoping it's uh, past me up. So good 20 plus years. Uh, this is the yellow pine. This is about a uh, 
uh, five years old uh, piece. I think uh, this might have been a piece from last season, uh, or it might have been this one from this season. But you get the logistics of it. You may not be able to see it in the camera. So can we take it? To the yeah, camera? we can take it to the camera. Or where do you want to take it up here, yeah, close? Right here. Yeah, you can see it, uh, and this is probably one of the nicer, older pieces. You can see the grooves in it. That's that top steel sinking down into it. I thought I had another piece around here, but I couldn't find it. We've had spots where it's sunk down. You see it's an inch and a half uh, board, but literally sunk down three-eighths of an inch. I mean, really sunk down in the valleys. And when you have those uh, big divots, uh, potholes, if you will, that's what causes those wooden coasters to get rough in certain areas. Not so much the side steel, it's that top steel. And when it starts sinking down and causing those potholes, just like when you're driving a car, uh, the train doesn't have any suspension. So it feels every bump. So basically what you're saying is after prolonged use and repetitive use, after years, uh, just repeated uh, cycles. It's going to sink into it. And, and that sinking in is almost beveling out and, and causing... Causing your, your, your potholes. The shake Where, in the rough. Yep, you get a pothole in it just like the car, you go across it, oh, it hurt your... Yeah, same thing, especially if you ain't got no good shocks in your car, right? This stuff is a lot harder. So this stuff is so hard that brand new or old on this yellow pine, you can run nails right through it very easily. It's, you know, yellow pine. This... You could try nail, it won't even, even budge it, barely scratch it. It literally has to be drilled, pre-drilled, and we're nailing to the board underneath of it, not to this board. So the, the hole in it's uh, as big as the nail itself. Wow. And you're going through it, and we're using three and a half inch nails, uh, uh, and you're grabbing multiple boards below it. On top of that, you've got steel with big three eighths inch bolts that bolt it down every foot, so that so, locks it down. Uh, are we using nails, screws, what's typically used? Nails. nails. Uh, yeah, a uh, 20D nail. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll grab one when we move over to the next and, and show the 20D. Okay. Uh, but yes, 20Ds on this, and that's a pretty big, so you got, most people have heard of 16 penny, yeah. uh, and those are big nails, 20Ds bigger. <laughs> now, as far as, uh, since it's such a, a dense wood, um, cutting into this, is this a, is this? A, you know, cutting any, hasn't been bad. Uh, any certain special, uh, blades or is it just you know they had mentioned to me uh, a couple of my coaster uh, building buddies online to get a uh, a 60 count tooth uh, and I went with that and uh, it cuts pretty darn good okay. uh, yeah it's not I think the biggest uh, we're really burn up is we use uh, 18 inch drill bits to drill the holes through so you're going through the entire stack whether you're going through yeah. the uh, top or the side steel you're, you're going through 14 to 16 inches of wood and good thing I'm only drilling through two inches of this, but that burns up, this two inches burns up a lot of your drill bits. Yeah. Uh, it heats them up. Uh, and you'll just start seeing smoke coming through. It's just so oh, hard. Wow. Yeah, uh, like, a, I don't know, water, try to cool No, it? no, I, I, I don't. I don't uh, I keep going through, letting off, and then you just, after a while, it's going to burn up, and then you just throw a new one on so or, or, through, or snap. Uh, you've gone through a couple. Oh, yeah. The, the drill bits are, you know, anywhere from 20, 30 bucks a bit. I think I found them for 11, 13 bucks online. Yeah. Uh, but I've gone through 15, 18 of them so far. <laughs> yeah, I was going to uh, ask, you know, how many drill bits have you gone through? Yeah, I'll go through two or three, may go through two or three bits just doing this 30-foot section. And I'm only drilling. Uh, going through two inches. So some parks have done both top layers. Uh, and I heard some parks have gone and done all eight layers, but I've confirmed it with somebody else. That I don't think there is a coaster out there that's done all eight layers. Somebody had mentioned there was one, but I don't think there, I don't think it is, but. They're, they're doing multiple layers. layers with the hardwood. Yeah, so you're drilling through multiple layers, which is gonna burn up even more a bit. Jeez. So depending on how many you're going through. That is insane. But yeah. So then you mentioned a 30 foot section that you're working on. Uh, how many sections uh, have you done? How many are you planning? What's the, what's the, uh, the schedule? So we're on week seven. Uh, so I had uh, scheduled for the, uh, coming into the winter to work on it for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. And so each week uh, uh, I do another section or do a certain amount of repairs. So uh, this week is week seven out of the 10 that I wanted to schedule to, to fix things. How many sections I've done is only I think five of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is my fifth section I've done, but I've got seven weeks in. So there's other stuff that I've done, weeks that I've done just side steel, where it's causing divots, I'm putting plates behind it, uh, doing, uh, coming into the station from the beginning when you 
come from the, the brake run and you get pushed into the station, that it would always, you'd, you would feel it and go, bop, 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 and drop the, the steel, the top steel yeah. wasn't even. And when I made it even, the wood would eventually shrink and swell and it wasn't level. So every day it would change. You know, some days it would be there, some days it wouldn't. So uh, this season I actually locked it down. Uh, I, I did something where I used steel and some washers where it isn't changing in that area. Nice. So now every time it gets pulled in the station, that part's smooth. So just little things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, on other days, you know, when it's gonna have a couple rainy days during the week, uh, so I pick other things to do, but continue the progress uh, that needed to be done. And uh, how do you, is it your own personal writing that you say, oh, I make a mental note this, or do people come, do writers, uh, guests say, oh, on that turnaround or that section? The, the latter. The, that, no, uh, you, writers, uh, you know, hear once in a while, like this summer, I try not to hear any negative feedback, to be honest with you, especially when I, I don't, I already know the coaster, so I know what's, where the spots are that I think is rough, right. uh, but other people's, I don't know how I say it, other people's thought on it, it, it's so objective that you really can't use that because even me, I ride a coaster and say, oh my God, that spot was rough. But I had a headache that day. I get on this thing right here, and if I'm if I have a headache, the whole thing's rough. I don't care what coaster I ride; it's rough. <laughs> and everything, every small bump intensifies. So when somebody comes here and says your coaster's rough, I don't know how they were they drinking the night before. Did they have a headache? Did they are they feeling bad? You know, all that place. Are they dehydrated? They do mm -hmm. it in the middle of the day of the summer right. when you're already nauseated. Did that make them nauseated going back? I mean, there's, it's, it's so objective. And once. Uh, a person that rides a lot of coasters and then works on one figures that out then you know not to sit out there and say oh that coaster's rough you can say it but also know that in your head that i had a headache that day so if i say something's rough well that one little spot it felt it was rough to me today but you know, i'm a baby right. so you know <laughs> there's a reason it's not rough for everybody uh you know being uh, being coaster enthusiasts we it, it kind of blows my mind that someone would actually come up to you and say that coaster rough. Do, yeah. people, do people come and very rarely okay. I mean uh, this summer there was several spots that were rough I mean it was to the point where I got off of it and I walk inside and most mornings I'll, I ride it every day before the track before it opens uh, I have you know yeah I have to yeah <laughs> if it ain't me it's my maintenance guy Ramon but most of the time it's me uh, and I'll get off and I'll walk inside and like whoo switch back is running good today. Every day is different. The same, I can do a bunch of repair and that day is running great. And then uh, the next week I ride it, I don't feel like it's running that great. I, you know, it needs some improvement. Was it my headache? Was it that I'm feeling bad? Yeah. It's a living, breathing, wooden coasters do change day by day. So uh, yeah, there's coasters out there that people say, oh, these are super, super rough. And I just did one that's super intense. Uh, for this purpose, I won't mention its name, but it's one of the top 10 coasters. And when I rode, it was one of the best darn coasters I've ever rode in my entire life. And you hear people that say that, but you also hear people say, oh my gosh, they about killed me getting off of it. And I'm like, right. they just got done doing a million dollars worth of track work on it. It was baby, it was, it was awesome. So anyhow, it, it all plays into a role. But so do I go off of what other people, nah, not necessarily. I, you know, I take it with a grain of salt. I don't like to hear it, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't like that people come off and say it's rough. Uh, you know. It, a lot of people don't realize that, like you said, uh, coasters are almost like living, breathing things. I mean, just with everything, the weather, it swells, it shrinks, yeah. it adjusts, and so... Uh, the wood... general public just doesn't know or understand how much hard work it goes just to have a coaster yeah. and keep it running, yeah. keep it smoothly going. Yeah. I don't know if they care, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not general public, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But they get on it and they ride it, and if it's rough, they won't try it again. So if they rode it during this summer, this spot right here coming out of the building, I had just fixed it. I had fixed multiple spots before the summer. Matter of fact, during the pandemic, I talked about all this work I was doing. Oh, yeah. I worked on mostly all on one side. It was running great after that. But what happened between then and the summer, the exact other side no. accelerated. We had a lot of rain. Uh, it was already to the verge. Yeah. I didn't fix that side because it was still good. Well, you know, you don't fix something that's broken, right? Exactly. But, uh, but you do on the wooden coaster. Now, now in my head, now <laughs> I've got 10 weeks worth of repairs this summer, but right now the coaster's running bad to the bone. Probably as good or if not better than it was when it was new, especially when I get done with this spot here. But there's some spots 
that I can already see and feel a little bit that I'm going to do because I do not want to go into next summer and have two or three more bad spots mm -hmm. that are, you know, if you have a headache and you go through it and you're eh, eh, like, ah, I don't want none of those spots. I want it as smooth as I possibly can get it. Uh, so I will be doing uh, several more spots that are not bad right now that I don't want to take a chance. Can it still have a couple bad spots before the end of the next summer? Mm. Unfortunately, yeah. But hopefully, that's why we're doing Brazilian hardwood. If it lasts that 15, 20, 30 years, I should be able to get the entire top track done in five, six years, just as it goes bad. And then this doesn't make the track smoother. It makes it smoother for a lot longer. So with the yellow pine, you can get a bad spot within the first year. We did. Oh, Coming wow. out of this building, it started getting rougher. The very first year Jeez. it was built, it was already getting rougher. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was making it uh, rougher going through that area until I realized it was that top steel because it was sunk in from factory. It's a valley there. And I couldn't see that dip until I finally seen it when it was deep enough where the wood was almost level with the steel. And I'm like, bada bing. Bada yeah, bing. then it became evident. What yeah, then like, once I fixed bulb. the spot, I'm like, oh my gosh, every spot that I know that is rough, I know exactly where to look. I mean, it's, it's top steel, top steel, top steel, top steel. Nice. And that's when you, you know, where we put the uh, hardwood on and uh, be done with it. Uh, it won't sink into it. Nice. Well, uh, let's let's take a look at a couple of spots that you did or what okay. you're working on right now. Sounds good. Let's All do right. it. So here's the first section. Uh, actually, this is the very first track repair I ever did was on this side. And I did a repair. And by the uh, end of the summer, that, that repair had already sunken in more. I didn't replace the wood. I just did a steel plate up underneath. And uh, that's when I realized, oh my gosh, that's where the, the shaking was coming from. And then instantaneously, by the end of the summer, it got worse. And then I went during the pandemic and I replaced it uh, with new wood. Or actually, I went to the other side because this was still doing good. During the pandemic, I did the other side because the shaking was getting a little worse. I didn't like it. And then it was back beautiful again. But then this side that I had done the repair on, by this summer, it got bad. And so we had a real good shake through here. So if you rode it and you had a headache prior to getting on it, uh, it definitely didn't make that headache better coming through this spot. Uh, I even got off it and go, oh my gosh, I gotta get that spot fixed. And so by the, as soon as the summer ended, uh, I put brand new wood on this side. And this is all yellow pine. Uh, I didn't order uh, the wood for this side uh, because it's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half they call it, but it's an inch and a quarter thick. And they use the inch and a quarter when Gravity Groups does any real tight turns. There's some banks, some, uh, uh, even when they go upside down. So when you make those radiuses, they've got to use the skinnier wood to bend it as they go along the track. The thick two inch uh, will not bend as easy. So instead of having a typical eight layer, you'll see there's 12 layers of the thinner wood, which will come up to pretty much the same height as the eight layer. And so when I ordered the wood, uh, I had ordered it all and I just wasn't thinking. I ordered all two inch. And so when I, this is the first spot I wanted to come fix. And when I got to it and realized I didn't have inch and a quarter, but I had plenty of inch and a quarter of the yellow pine and just went with it. The yellow pine is gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great uh, three or four years, five years in this area. Uh, next year, I'll probably end up doing uh, one of the sides with the yellow pine or with the uh, uh, Brazilian hardwood but I'll never let it go as far as it did before. Now I know where it's at. So maybe, probably within three years, I'll be redoing this. Uh, the first sign of it going, getting even a smidgen rough, Brazilian hardwood on it. Nice. Hopefully it's at the very end of a summer, not at the beginning. Because uh. you can't do these kind of repairs during summer. These are full week repairs. Oh, wow. So yeah, so that's it. And uh, let's go look at the spot I'm working on now. And here's some little things that, you know, through the process, those weeks I wasn't doing actual track work. So uh, when it was first built, the top steel was up here in this area. And for all these years, the road wheel was running over the bolts. Uh, this is a pretty smooth area coming through here. So I don't know, and even now that I put it on there, how much of a difference uh, it really made, but it's gonna, it did make some of a difference. Uh, you're running over the little bolts. So, you know, one week I just unbolted it all, 
and re-drilled it and drilled it down. Now you can see the new line yeah. and it runs where it needs to run instead of over my bolts. And there's a couple other spots like that that I could do. Uh, and maybe I will eventually, but you know, little things, they just keep trying to, to make it better and better and better. So you're saying that uh, the original... For, for five years, for five years, I just did this just within the last two months. So for all these six years, it's been running over these bolts all on this turn right here. And it, again, normal person probably didn't even feel it, just a little, maybe it's just a very small vibration. Nothing that you're going to feel like a divot in the track. It's just a, a little bit, just a, just a smidgen. But we moved it up out of the way, so it makes it that much smoother. And that, that smidgen is why we love ZDTs, just the, the little details that... Yeah, and that's what I'm going to continue doing. And, and you know, uh, there's, there's plenty of spots. We're going to keep, I'm going to keep making it better and better and better. It's not where I want it to be right now, and it runs good. It's one of the smoothest wooden coasters out there. Oh, definitely. Uh, but it's going to get even better. I want ultimate goal would be is you to get off of it and say holy moly is that uh, did somebody just do that thing in steel or something <laughs> that suckers is that wood right maybe maybe i'll keep yeah. trying that's the ultimate goal we still want a little shake but we want i don't know we just want to i don't know i just want it i want to perfect it yeah. perfection mm -hmm. out of it yeah. so yeah this is my next section you see i got a couple pieces of the uh Brazilian hardwood out there. You can see they're cutting five foot. There's one like a six foot. So basically you're, you're running most of the time you're cutting them in five foot pieces. You can see the boards are not nailed down, but you can see they're cattywankus because they have to be forced into place. So you can see them sticking up in the air. They're not even. Well, they're as even as they're going to get until you use big clamps and you clamp it and shape it to the next board. And then you're nailing them and, and and clamping it and nailing it down to keep it where it needs to be. Uh, that's why over there on the other the turn, you couldn't get those things to shape that, that thicker wood. So, so you do it in small this, little sections. This is a section that it has a two inch, is this correct? Yeah, this is all two inch. Okay, and, and this is just because it's kind of a straight away yeah, yeah, on any of your coasters, any of your, you know, 50 degree, 60 degree uh, turns, long, wide turns, they're gonna use the two inch. It's sharp massive turns quick uh, doing a barrel roll you, 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 you're twisting that wood fast there's no way that two inches can't bend quick enough to get that twist in there so ours is a 104 uh, and the only way to get into that 104 with that tight turn is you had to go with the, the inch and a half and with the inch mm. and a half what how long are the sections in order to get that same thing but we go five foot yeah okay. yeah everything's five foot did you say you had a piece of wood somewhere that you were to, that you were mentioning earlier about? Uh, oh, this is all the. Well, this is just all the old wood. Give you an idea. I think we showed that one piece in there. We had the steel on it. Yeah. So you kind of get an idea. So get the top layer off. So uh, I mean, it's nailed from factory. This is all from originally built. All the nails in it. Uh, you know, you're putting many nails across every foot, six inches in some spots, along every single board. Well, the only way to get that off is you use your saw and you cut in small pieces. You just keep cutting oh, wow. uh, every six inches, eight inches, you sh this way, and then a couple down the center. And then you pry those pieces off one by one. Like an onion. Like an onion, and, and to get them all off. And so you, you can't just take this whole top layer board five foot by two foot and, and take it all off at one whack. You never get it off that many nails. So you cut them in small pieces and pry little pops off, wow. little pieces off them. And this is just from that little 30 foot section. Wow, so this, is just, this is just this week's uh, a debris or a yeah, you got two waste. buckets full of it, and it's just for one top layer. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, and you still have more to go, or is this? Uh, this is it for this week. Yeah. Okay. No, we're. I'm going back on with wood. So today's goal is is to get all the wood in this section, uh, bolted down. Uh, hopefully, I can still make it. Uh, and then tomorrow, start putting uh, steel on, and then Thursday, finish up any loose ends. And that's typically the uh, timeline. For me, that's why I stick with 30 feet of track work and 30 foot I can do by myself uh, in three and a half days, four days max. Try and it's all it you. Simple. There's no, there's no. Yeah, no, I do all the track work here. Yeah, all by myself, no helpers. Awesome. Well, um, it's your baby. You gotta. I mean, yeah. the only person that's gonna do it the way you want it is you. Yeah. 
Man, it's it's such an honor being here. Uh, you know, we we love this coaster. We love Switchback. Uh, <laughs> just to hear you taking such pride and uh, the just the little things. You know, like the, just running over the bolts. Just yeah. the little adjustments just mean so much, and, and that's why we, we keep coming back here. Thank you. Um, Thank you for coming back here. <laughs> <laughs> well, and like I said, if you have not been here. ZDT's here in Seguin is a great family park. They have the world's only wooden shuttle coaster. You gotta check it out. And as you can tell, it takes pride in, 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 the, in the coaster and the maintenance. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Danny, for your time. Thank Thanks for you. All. Thank you. Always a pleasure seeing y'all guys. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Well, once again, couple. yep, we are the Quirky <laughs> Coaster Couple. Once again, thanks for tuning in. And if you like this, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you will get exclu exclusive uh, interviews like this. It, it, this is just awesome. Thank you so much once yes. again. Thank you. And uh, we My will pleasure. see you at the parks. Later. Thank you.